Let, let's commission. cycle back to your yeah. fundamental reason for yes. this, which is that it is, it is one that will make it almost impossible, not impossible, for you to observe your Sabbath. Well, there are, <clears throat> let, let me make it clear, and this has happened before. Mm -hmm. We are saying that we are Ghanaians, we believe that it is our civic responsibility to embark on our civic um, duty of voting. However, when, it, when the voting day falls on our Sabbath day, which is in reverence to God, that conflict creates a barrier for many Adventists, or most Adventists, if not all, to undertake that civic responsibility. Yeah, but that... And but but we, this is a secular state. It's a secular state. Yeah, so if it's a secular you state... You must be minded. Why, why should we change a date that is in the Constitution, in the secular Constitution? Well, it is... Because it, a group of religious you know, individuals say, well, in our case, it's going to hurt our religious interest. Your question was answered by the Supreme Court. Fortunately, in the case of Bonfair versus Attorney General, regarding the state's involvement in Hajj activities and the building of a national cathedral labeled by uh, the uh, executive that was promoting it as a mother church. The Supreme Court was, 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 was unanimous in their decision that yes, Ghana is a secular state, but a secular state with accommodation for religious faith and practices. And if you read that judgment, the Supreme Court relied on the 2010 Population and Housing Census report that said that 88.8% of Ghanaians were either Christian or Muslim. And if you look at the figures at the time, it was 71.2% Christian and 17.6% Muslim. But